Hey guys, Flair here. Today I'll be discussing about the final job changes for Samurai in Endwalker. I'll be using the job guide available on the Final Fantasy XIV website for this since it has already been updated with all the new skills and potency changes. Either way, let's get right into it. Starting off with Hakaze. It delivers an attack potency of 150 and it increases our Kenki gauge by 5. The potency changed from 200 to 150. Do note that these potency changes is done by Square Enix based on the job balances in Endwalker and hence uh, this is not necessarily a nerf. I will be leaving the revisions on how it is and we will be looking at how Samurai fares to other jobs in Endwalker. Moving on to Jinpu. It delivers an attack potency of 100. The combo action is from Hakaze. Potency 250. It grants us the damage buff Fugetsu and it increases our Kenki gauge by 5. Third Eye, it reduces the amount of damage taken by the next attack by 10% and it increases our Kenki Cage by 10 when hit. Just like the Media 2 information provided to us before, this stayed the same and uh, Merciful Eyes and Sagan have been deleted. NP, it delivers a range attack potency of 100, Enhanced NP bonus potency is now 260, the Kenki Gauge is increased by 10. Now this is a pretty big change because uh, previously it was 400 and uh, basically 400 would mean that it would be 2 extra potency per GCD than Midare and hence players would be using Yatenp on cooldown in case this change was not made. I'm really glad this, this potency has been nerfed. Shifu, just like Jinpu it delivers a potency of 100, its combo action is from Hakaze. The combo potency is 250 and it grants us the Fuka buff which is the speed buff. It also increases our Kenki gauge by 5. Fuga. It delivers an attack with a potency of 90 to all enemies and it increases uh, the Kenki gauge by 5. This stayed pretty much the same. Gecko. It delivers an attack potency of 100 and 150 when executed from a target's rear. Now this is a pretty big change because uh, previously on how Samurai used to be, when we would miss a positional, we would be losing 5 Kenki instead. 5 Kenki would be translating in roughly 64 potency, but now it just increases our Kenki by 10 regardless of us missing a positional or not. But if we miss a positional now, we lose 50 potency, hence we should be hitting our positional still. The combo bonus grants us the Getsu San. The Yajutsu stays the same. 1 San grants us Higanbana, 2 San Tenka Gokan, 3 San Midare Setsugeika. Mangetsu. It delivers an attack potency of 100 to all nearby enemies. The combo action is from Fuga. The combo potency is 110 and it grants us the Fugetsu damage buff. It increases our Kenki gauge by 10 and grants us the Getsu San. Now this is pretty big because usually before this uh, you would be using your single target rotation, build your buffs and then proceed into your AOE rotation. So from this, from scratch we can basically build our buffs from the AOE rotation itself. Kasha. Just like Gecko, it delivers a potency of 100, 150 from the target's flank, the combo action is from Shifu. Potency 320 and flank combo potency 370. It increases our Kenki gauge by 10 and grants us the Kasan. Oka. Just like Mangetsu, it delivers a potency of 100 to all nearby enemies. This combo action is from Fuga also. Potency is 110. It grants us the Fuka uh, buff, which is the speed buff. It increases our Kenki gauge by 10 and grants us the Kasan. Yukikaze. It delivers an attack potency of 100, the combo action is from Hakaze, potency is 280 and it increases our Kenki gauge by 15, granting us the Setsu-san. This stayed the same, except for the potency change. Meikyo Shisui. Meikyo Shisui is still the same, it does not affect uh, any Yajuso or Ogina Mikiri. So here you notice that uh, Meikyo Shisui is 15 seconds uh, instead of 30 seconds, so we will not be pre-polling Meikyo at 23 seconds anymore, it will most likely be at around 5 to 7 seconds. It grants us uh, the buffs uh, 
of Fugetsu and Fuka when we successfully land Keiko and Kasha. It also has two charges. One thing that I noticed here is Hyosetsu is no longer here. I'm guessing they probably removed Hyosetsu because it was complained by the community as it was a useless skill and I'm really glad they did that to reduce the clunkiness of many weapon buttons. Either way, let's get into Kaiten. Kaiten increases the potency of the next weapon GCD by 50%, the Kenki gauge cost is still 20. Gyoten rushes to target, delivers a potency of 100, Kenki gauge cost still 10, still stays the same. Satsu Yaten delivers an attack potency of 100, the backstep still here, grants us enhanced NP as I mentioned above, Kenki gauge cost is still 10. Meditate. Meditate uh, still stayed the same, yes, uh, it still grants us a meditation stack uh, and also increases our Kenki gauge by 10 every 3 seconds. Hisatsu Shintan delivers an attack potency of 270, the Kenki gauge cost is 25. Kyoten, the AoE rotation, uh, which is uh, delivering us a potency of 110 uh, and costs us 25. Kenke. So this mostly stayed the same except for the potency. Hagakure. Okay, since Hagakure is still here, is is still the same as Shadowbringers, uh, converting uh, one sen into ten Kenki, two into twenty, and three into thirty. Ikishoten still has its one hundred twenty second cooldown. It increases our Kenki gauge by fifty and grants us the Oginami Kiri ready, which is just like the media tour showed us. Duration is 30 seconds, which is really good. We can line it up with buffs. Hisatsu Gorem. It delivers an attack potency in a straight line of 500 for the first enemy and 50% less for the remaining enemies. The Kenki gauge cost is 25 now. Now, do know that this might look like a nerf, but the Kenki gauge is no longer 50, it is now 25. This is a pretty important aspect of it. The 25 Kenki Gauge use. Hisatsu Sane delivers an attack potency of 800, the Kenki Gauge cost is 25, pretty powerful skill for 20 Kenki. Tsuamegashi, it repeats the previously executed Yajutsu, maximum charges is still 2 as the media 2 information provided to us. So we will most likely be using this on Tenkagoken and Tsubamegashi from Midari Setsugeka. Shohao. It delivers an attack potency of 580, this is still the single target Shoha, and can only be executed after 3 stacks of meditation. Shoha 2, still here, delivers an attack potency of 200 to all nearby enemies, so basically for AoE rotations you will be using Shoha 2 instead of Shoha. Fuko delivers an attack potency of 100 to all nearby enemies, and it increases our Kenki gauge by 10. I'm guessing this is an upgrade from Fuga. I will be checking the trait masteries below for this. Oginamikuri delivers an attack to all enemies Nikon before you with a potency of 800 for the first enemy and 75% less for the rest. So this is a complete separate Yaijutsu and uh, followed by Kaishinamikuri the potency is increased to 1200 and this does not affect your Tsubamegashi charges. So basically, when you get the Oginamikiri ready from Ikishoten, you will be using Oginamikiri into Kaishinamikiri. Now moving on to the Iaijutsus. Higanbana delivers another potency of 200, additional effect is damage over time, potency is 30, duration 60 seconds. Stays the same except for the potency change. So basically with Kaiten it will be 45 potency per 3 seconds. Tenka Goken still stays the same except for the potency as well as Midari Setsugeka. Kaiju Higanmana, we don't usually look at that, but it's still going to be a useless skill. I already saw here. It is basically the same as using Kaiten on Higanmana. Kashi Goken, you'll still be using this on multiple targets, and Kashi Setsugeka, still really powerful, you'll be using this after Midari Setsugeka. Let's look a bit on the rule actions. So basically, the, all of them stayed the same, but Faint has been updated to 
lowering the target's physical damage dealt by 10%, magic damage dealt by 5%. Okay, this is pretty big because uh, now melees will be able to more effectively mitigate damage on raid bosses and it also will make melees more aware about uh, damage mitigation. I really love this change. Now the traits. Kenki Mastery. It increases the Kenki gauge when landing weapon skills and when taking damage while under the effect of Serai. So they added the Serai effect here. The Enhanced Fugetsu and Fuka. It improves the Fugetsu damage dealt uh, Wait, what difference? So, okay, so this one they basically just changed the name of Jinpo and Shifu to Fugetsu and Fuka. So basically just a new name. Enhanced Subamigashi. You now have two charges with this trait. Fuga Mastery. Okay, so yeah, I was right. Uh, Fuko is an upgrade from Fuga. Enhanced Meikyo Shisui. So basically this grants us two Meikyo charges, which is really great. Enhanced Ikishoten now grants us Ogi Namikiri. So this is basically all the changes for Samurai. You can first look down for the beginner's guide here or you can check uh, my in-depth guide for Shadowbringers. Still, it still is mostly the same for Endwalker except the new skills. I will be making more videos uh, when Endwalker comes up for these and uh, as I test more things with Samurai. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.